Hello and welcome. You're watching FII. I'm Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor. Now, by now, everybody knows what black fungus is, why it is caused, and what are the symptoms sort of you need to watch out for if you are a diabetic or you are somebody who's taken steroids during their COVID treatment. But as a fallout of black fungus and the enormous amount of cases that we are now seeing, lives lost as well in several parts of the country, the focus has come to the use of steroids, not just in COVID but otherwise as well. So we thought on FII, we'll give you a full explainer on what are these steroids and when it comes to them, what are the basic do's and don'ts you must know, things that you must follow if you are taking them, compelling a doctor to give you one or holding on to these uh, steroids during the pandemic. So let's get into our explainer. First up, what are steroids? Well, steroids are man-made version of chemicals similar to a kind of hormone in our body. When produced naturally, they are natural steroids. When introduced medically, synthetic steroids. Now, steroids are designed basically to reduce the amount of inflammation in the body. So the thing to remember about steroids is it won't cure your condition, but they are very good at reducing the inflammation, which will ease symptoms. Symptoms such as swelling, pain, even stiffness, etc. But what happens to your body when you take these steroids? Now, usually, inflammation is the body's natural reaction to any sort of infection, bacteria or virus. Now, to fight out these bacteria and infections, viruses as well, our body's immune system can lead to swelling, can lead to redness and heat, or what you feel as very acute pain in a particular area in your body. Now, inflammation, remember, before I go any further, is a necessary evil. It is a natural immune response to these infections and also to any injury in your body. Most of us will have a balanced immune response to infection and this helps us clear out that from our body. But some of us, our immune response gets dysregulated and causes an inappropriate level of inflammation. For example, in patients of arthritis, the immune system produces inflammation in the joints or other parts of the body by mistake, which can cause permanent damage if left untreated. Now, steroids are very useful in cases like these. They reduce that immune reaction. So the important thing to note about steroids is that they reduce the activity of body's immune system, which is body's natural defense against illness and infection. Why I'm emphasizing on that, you'll just get to know. So steroids are great in cases of asthma, etc. Several other diseases it's used in as well. But when only when inflammation is out of control. Even then, it only works when taken in the right dosage and that's the right amount and the quantity that your body really needs it in. So what happens? Let's take the case of COVID patients. By now, the DEXA, Methazone and the other corticosteroids, etc., are household names and are indeed effective in treatment in moderate to severe COVID patients who might require oxygen or ventilator support. Only these patients remember. But they are effective if and only if given in the right dosage at the right time. Timing in steroids is extremely crucial. Now experts say if not, then it can do more harm than good to your body. Now to give you an example of when do steroids really work and when do they not in your body, let's again take the case of a COVID patient. Now, a body of a typical COVID patient will tend to have high level of inflammation. Remember, your doctors regularly keep asking you for blood tests like CRP, CBC, D-dimer, etc. This is to keep an eye on these inflammation markers. High level of inflammation also means that your immune system is fighting the virus and the virus is actually on its way out. This stage is called the inflammatory overdrive. Now, that is said, this is the right time to introduce steroids in your body. If given too early, in the phase where what doctors called is viremia or when the virus is still in the body, it may prolong the virus stay in the body and while the patient may feel good temporarily, it will cause more damage in the days ahead. Similarly, if steroids are given for more time than needed, it can lead to secondary bacterial and fungal infections Remember the black fungus? Exactly that. 
Also, the thing to remember about steroids is that they should be weaned or tapered off. That's gradual reduction of doses, especially when consumed for over 21 days. Now, since steroids have a feel-good factor, patients tend to continue them even when the doctors are asking them not to. That should be avoided. And if in these patients, you see complications later. It is these patients and those with diabetes that we've seen get black fungus. Really, it breeds in patients like these. So you need to remember all these pointers that we've just given you the next time you pressure your doctors into starting you with steroids. Again, as always, let your doctor decide. Each patient is different and the details I shared with you are simply FII for your information.